Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my monthly makeup picks for the month of February 2018. So if you've seen any of my videos previous to this, I kind of explain how every month I pick out six lip products, a blush, and a bronzer to try to make use of throughout the month. This way I just get use out of my whole collection and to make sure nothing goes to waste and that I use up everything that I've spent money on. Okay, so I do not have an enormous makeup collection. It's still way more than I use on a regular basis though, but I am not a beauty guru who has like Ikea drawers full of makeup. That's just not my reality yet. Maybe it will be someday. Second point, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup lover. I follow the industry, you know, all of that kind of thing, but makeup is not my profession. These picks are just out of my personal collection. I'm also very careful about expiration dates, um, making sure that as soon as something starts to get weird, I get rid of it. So you don't have to worry about that. So as always, out of the literally billion other YouTube creators out there, thank you so much for choosing to see my makeup picks for the month of February. Be sure and give this video a like so it's easier for other people to find and subscribe to see more of me in the future. I also have a second channel, Alice and Adventure, where I post my food, fun, lifestyle type of videos. If you want to see that, I will leave it linked for you down below. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Cantering Gorgeous to see my photos and posts throughout the rest of the week. But for now, let's get on with this one. So the very first lip pick I have this month is a Sephora, I think the, this is a Sephora Rouge Shine number 11. If I'm correct, this was called Love Letter. So as you can see, this is very shiny. And I like this just to give my lips a little bit of a healthy glow. And you can apply this easily. You don't have to worry about screwing it up because it's just so easy. Next, I have the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stain. Um, I did a Will It Survive video testing these out um, all day while I went to my writing lesson. I will link that video down for you below if you're interested in seeing that. So this is basically just like a chubby twist up balm stain. And this, this is the shade Rico Mauve. And this is really pretty. This is like my favorite color out of the Mega Slicks Balm Stain. It just leaves a very nice stained pink on your lips. It is so, so dry here um, right now. So I kind of like wanted like two kind of shiny, a little bit more moisturizing lipsticks because if you go outside at all, it just sucks all the moisture like out of your skin. It's terrible. Next I have like something like super like old. I mean, it's not, it's old, it's safe. Old as far as trending makeup. Anyway, this is the e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. Now this is not a lipstick. This is like a lip gloss. This is in the shade Pink Lemonade. This is kind of pretty. It's kind of like a fuchsia pink and it's got like gold shimmer through it. So again, this is just one of those products that um, gives your lips some shine, some color, but it's moisturizing. It's not matte. And I mean, seriously, like there's only a tiny, tiny bit left in this. I want to use it and use it up. I have the NARS Satin Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Rikugian. Rikugian. This is a really nice lip color. It's a very pretty pink. It's a nice satiny feel, but it will stay in place nicely. I kind of realized like I just picked all the same color pinks, but that's okay. Um, this one is very nice. I'm sure like at this point, every single person out there who has makeup probably owns this, but I just think it's really pretty. It's very universal. You know, it kind of makes your lips like, look like my lips, but better type of color. Okay, next I have the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lipstick. This is in the color Wine Room. And I picked this because it's kind of dark, but it's kind of bright. Look how pretty it's just, absolutely gorgeous you know it's not dark and vampy at all but it's not quite pink pink spring yet so i'm excited to use this i don't know why i just never pick this color i think probably because it's never the right season for it this is absolutely gorgeous and i um i want to wear that this month and my last product is kind of like again like an old product this is the wet n wild mega last now this was this is kind of funny because when i first bought this i didn't even understand what like liquid lipstick was and so i put it on thinking it was kind of going to be like a gloss and then it dried like paint and I thought like, well, this is really weird. <laughs> but then, you know, liquid lipsticks became such a huge trend. This is in the shade I Can Bear It. I do not think they make these anymore because they replaced them with the liquid catsuits. But since I have this, I just, 
you know, thought I'd give it a try and decide whether I want to keep this or just get rid of it. I mean, the color is really pretty. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful, like, brown nude. The problem with this, though, is it's not that great of a liquid lipstick. So from what I remember, it kind of, like, feels a little bit gummy or I'm not quite sure I need to test it out again. But I mean, like, if, if I could get over that, it's a gorgeous color. So this is all of my lip picks for the month of February. Where I live, it is very, very, very hot. And so February, we're kind of like done with winter and we're going into spring. Picked kind of all of these pinks um, just to kind of like have a transition from dark lipsticks to like the pink, to like the really pastel pinks. Now the bronzer I chose for this month is not actually like a bronzer. This is the Benefit Dallas blush bronzer, I guess. I don't know. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I've showed this in a video um, before or not. This is kind of like a bronzy blush type of powder. I'm at, I'm usually like at my palest like through January and the first of February. So I kind of want to try and see if I can make this work before I really, really go into using a full bronzer. If not, if this doesn't work though, I might use Hoola because that on my complexion, that one works really well in the winter. And this like, I mean, seriously, I bought this just because it has a horse on it. That was totally just like a thing for packaging, but I like it and it's a very, very pretty color. Now for blush, I have the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. This is number one in Light Rose. This is kind of like a baked blush and it's got, I want to say like maybe some gold kind of like marbled through it, I don't know. This is a very, very pretty pink brightening blush. Like if, you're, if you feel kind of dull or your skin is looking dull, like put some of this on your cheeks and it will really like just kind of make you glow. It's similar to Dandelion from Benefit. That's what I would say. So on, on my complexion at least, this pink is not gonna show up, but it will really, really make your cheeks nice and bright, getting ready for spring. So these are my February monthly makeup picks. I think I'm most excited to try out this wine room because like I've never worn this. I don't know why I'm, I'm gonna try. But it looks just like, I'm just like mesmerized by how beautiful that is. Like, And the rest of the things, like I said, the shiny and the moisturizing lipsticks because it is so dry here right now. This selection of colors to use as kind of like transitions going into spring. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.